Hey guys and welcome to my new uh, Photoshop slash Dreamweaver tutorial. And today I'll be showing you how to uh, how to uh, export your Photoshop file document like this, your website that you created or downloaded downloaded a template and just export it to Dreamweaver. So first of all, let's create our our root folder for Dreamweaver. I'm just going to do this uh, on the desktop and we'll say tour site and that's going to be our root. Then uh, let's get back to Photoshop open your document and then uh, we're gonna use the slice tool which is under the crop tool usually and just slice uh, the buttons now uh, dragging guides can also help you with it like this Now use your slice tool and slice buttons. Like so. It's not hard at all. So that's it. And now what we're going to want to do is go to File, Save for Web and Devices. And it should open this panel. Okay, and we can see the slices right here. Now we're going to choose JPEG quality 70 or less so it doesn't take too much space on your website and so you don't need uh, so if it took more space it would take a lot of time to load then go to save now here is the p a part where we go to our root folder tutorial site and now choose format and select HTML and images file name index.html save we can minimize this and what we got is an index.html we can preview it it's all ok images we have all the slices so now go to tutorial site right click on the index open with Adobe Dreamweaver close it down site, new site, tutorial site, local site folder, desktop, tutorial site select, advanced settings, default images folder, images, select, save. Uh, 
and this is what we have and now we have all the pictures sliced so we can link them uh, now it's totally up to you what you're gonna do in Dreamweaver to edit this but usually you link the buttons by going here to the link and just simply dragging to your document and don't forget to put border zero unless you want the ugly blue border to be around the button and just link simply stuff you can also align everything to be centered Add, uh, you can also edit the background by going to page properties and setting the background color to gray and also you can align it select everything align center now we can preview it in the web browser and this is how it looks if we click on our home page it should refresh and also you can add your title I don't know um, tutorial site home page Control S to save and preview it back. And here it is. Now, thanks for watching this tutorial. I hope it was helpful. I hope you enjoyed. Comment, like, and subscribe. I see you until next time. Also, I forgot to say that I personally don't like this w way of uh, building websites and I uh, recommend that you get a Dreamweaver template which is m more functional than just simple buttons that don't, that don't do anything. Uh, so thanks for watching and I see you next time.